right guys well welcome back to another tutorial and this is another color grading tutorial there's so many of these online but uh, hopefully I'll be showing you guys something a little different I'm actually going to using Colorista 3 and a lot of the built-in filters from Premiere now the camera I'm using I wanted to use a very run-the-mill camera it's an FZ 1000 I'm not recording in 4k I'm also recording in just 24p 1080 ABC HD, which isn't really the best Kodak for grading. At least that's what people want you to think. Everyone thinks you need raw video. Blah, blah, blah. So let's pull up the uh, features in this camera real quick. Ooh. I don't know how that got there. I don't listen to Justin Bieber's music. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it must be a virus. Yeah, so I'm going to have to run this later. I don't know how this keeps coming up my computer. Uh, uh, anyways, well, here's the camera. But this isn't really about the camera. This is about taking your footage and making it really pop to give it that nice look that everyone wants. So let's get down to it. And here's the clip we're going to be editing. And, you know, first glance, it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and start off by giving it a little more dynamic range. So let's go to the video effects and let's just pop in a, let's do this a little bit more tricky. Let's go to color correction, let's throw a luma curve on there. Kaboom. And we're just gonna bring out some more detail in the sky. So let's go ahead and go to our secondary color correction, go to our Luma, show the mask. And now we can effectively see what we're only going to be editing. And I only want to mess with the sky. I don't want to grab any of the water. Let's just grab a little bit of the water so I can show you guys another trick. And let's bring it back just a little bit and soften it some because these twigs right here if you don't soften it, it can look funny so we're going to take care of that and that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and bring in some detail in the clouds this is of course going to be the highlights this is the shadow so i'm bringing down the highlights to bring in some more of this and we actually done a lot so far and this is only a AVC HD codex so you don't really don't need you know raw video raw video is huge and most of the stuff that I do has to be done quick and just the space of raw video can get quite annoying real fast all right so that looks pretty good let's go ahead and look at our uh, limbs up there and make sure they don't look funky let's go like 150% and uh, Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's make fit again. But look at the water right here. You probably didn't notice that, but watch the water right in here. I'm gonna turn it off. And it's not doing too much. It's, you're losing a little bit of detail right here. If you watch that. We can fix that. Let's go ahead and take this down to like 25%. And we'll use a mask. And let's just down a little bit there we go all right it's a little slow because i'm using this capture software but that's fine i'm sure you can still get the gist of it let's go to 50. Now let's go to 25. let's feather it some a little more a little more that way we got some separation going on there It's just not have a hard line. Let's just go a little more. Okay, that looks good. Let's take it to a fit. And okay, let's check her out. So we got before and after. So yeah, we effectively got a good bit more detail right here. So what else? Let's uh let's uh, boost up the shadows some. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 
another filter that I like. And Adobe finally seems like they fixed this filter. It could have, in the past, given you this weird old 20s film flicker, which was super annoying. Let's take it off the auto. We don't need that. And we're just going to do the shadow. That's a little too much. Take it down some. Take it down some. Let's see that. Okay. And I'll show you why we're doing this later. And we're just trying to make it a little more flat and bring out some more detail that we can color more easily. So I want to fit. So what's next? Let's uh let's go ahead and use a three-way color correction. Premier's three-way color correction. Drop that in there. And we want to give these clouds a little bit of orange or yellow. Make them look slightly more happy. I like happy stuff. I don't know about you guys. You see how it's affecting too much? So let's go down here to our highlights and let's make it only do a little tighter portion of that. Let's feather it out just a little bit more. A little more. So, so yeah, let's bring this back some. This is going to be the intensity of it. Whoa, a little intense. So let's kind of take this back to here. A little more. A little more. Baby steps. Let's do it. A little more. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and give this a little bit more blue. Now, I know you're saying that, you know, you can do all this and, you know, with three-way color correction, why are you even using Magic Bullet? Well, I'll show you why later on. It doesn't really have... It does a couple of things different, so let's not talk about it. Let's just show you. I can better show you than tell you. So let's go ahead and see. I did the same thing with the uh, highlights right there. I'm just giving it a little more blue in the shadows. Let's take that back and uh, let's kind of blend it out a little more into the mid tones. Just a little bit more. See, I'm trying to grab this tree too. I'm feeling blue today, guys. I don't know about you. So let's take this all the way back. That way it's not so apparent. So, yeah. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So let's go before and after. I always like to do that just to make sure I'm not getting too crazy with it. I'm not going for Wizard of Oz look here. So now let's uh, grab our colorista. See, it's still... You know, we don't really have much contrast and everything in here. And this is one thing that Colorista does really well. And I'm adding a little more yellow to the clouds here, a little more blue in the trees to kind of give Colorista a little more help and effectively isolate the colors that I want it to work on. Because you really don't have that kind of control as far as the highlights and shadows that you do with the three-way color correction that Premiere gives you. But it does give a nice film look that's really hard to get with Premiere. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of blue. Let's just crank this up a little bit to the orange, a little, little bit more. Mm, let's, let's go to orange here. Let's not, I want to just go this way. There we go. Just a little bit yellow right here. And let's give it some contrast. See what we're doing now is we're letting Colorista do the contrast for us. It really gives it that nice pop. And let's lift the midtones up just a little bit. And get a second refresh. There it goes. A little bit more. Let's see what we got here. Yep, there we go. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with the highlights. Another thing you can do here, you can just go to the highlights also. And you can adjust them a little more if you like. Or pop them up some more. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's take it down a little bit. I like it right there. And let's give it a little pop. I like the pop rather than using a unsharpened mask because the sharpened mask can give you some weird artifacting and movement. It can also give a halo around an object. And this doesn't really do that. It just gives that, that nice pop or that detail that you want without having all the unwanted side effects. So that looks pretty good. Let's give it a little vignette. And uh, don't get too crazy with these. I see. I used to also. I uh, can't say I'm not to blame. But I used to do a little crazy vignette stuff. But yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and let's select all these in order. Use control. Select them in order. 
So let's uh, cut these. So you got before and after. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good improvement. And before, after. That gives it a nice little pop that you want. And uh, anyways, I just thought you guys might want to check that out. See some new things I've been doing is playing around with the Premiere. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, like always, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.